Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this week's What's For Dinner. I am so excited to share these recipes with you guys. Today I'm gonna be bringing you three very simple and easy dinner ideas and I cannot wait for you guys to make these for your family. I hope they give you lots of great meal inspiration and if you are making something super delicious that you're excited about this week, leave me a comment and let me know what it is. I'm so excited to see what you're making for your family. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by. Before you leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Y'all give this one a thumbs up if you want to see more what's for dinners and let's get to cooking. Okay y'all, so tonight for dinner we are having a mozzarella and herb crusted chicken with roasted green beans and buttery couscous. How good does that sound? And y'all, I've never made couscous and I am super excited to make it and to try it. And I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys already know I love HelloFresh. Seriously, so much. Every single meal we have ever gotten has been incredible and it forces me to try new things just like this couscous that I've never made before. It gets me out of my comfort zone and every single time I do I'm like so proud of myself and so proud of the dinner that we've made and something else that I am totally obsessed with is the fact that it arrives to my doorstep and on the weeks that we get HelloFresh I do not have to worry about meal planning which is a-okay in my book because that is one less thing I have to worry about and I know tonight's dinner is going to be just as amazing so let's go ahead and get cooking. HelloFresh makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. No wonder they are America's number one meal kit. And the best part, most of their meals are done in about 30 minutes. So if you need something quick and easy and on the table fast, no worries, HelloFresh has got you covered. And I promise you, every single meal will be delicious. Okay, so now that I have everything laid out, B is going to tell us what we do first. Um, let's see here. You're step better at deciphering instructions. <laughs> um, step one is we're going to get the oven ready to go. What, what temperature? Um, 425. Okay. And it also says to adjust rack to top position. I think it already is, maybe. I do know though that you're not supposed to like keep zesting once you hit like the bald spots because otherwise this part's like really bitter. So you only want to get like the outer layer of the lemon. That smells so good. I know. It's so like refreshing. Smell my, I wish, smell my hand. Smell my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Let me smell it. Oh my gosh, no. it smells so good. That smells better than a candle. Yeah, it does. Okay, so next in this bowl, I'm gonna add mozzarella panko, some salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil with this Italian seasoning, and then mix this together, and that is what will go on the chicken. Just a few other things that I love about HelloFresh. One, because everything is already prepackaged and measured for you, you waste so much less food, and that is really something that Bunky and I have been trying to do better on. And also, they are so flexible, so if you need to like change your delivery day, add a meal, skip a week, whatever it is, it is no problem. You can totally do that. Okay, so now that we've got our chicken coated in a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, Bunky is going to spread some sour cream on top of this. This is kind of like a new take on Parmesan crusted chicken, I feel like. Don't you? Um, like a little bit similar, but different. I think this but is... But better almost. Yeah, this is going to be great. Hopefully y'all can see this. This is just helping the stuff stick to it, right? Right. More. But also give it some good flavor, like oh. a little bit of tang. Yeah. Okay, so once you have your sour cream evenly coated, you're going to take your mozzarella and panko and Italian seasoning little mixture over here and just put that on top. I wish there was like five pieces of chicken because I would seriously eat this like... I'm excited about the amount of topping you have there compared to the amount of chicken. <laughs> yeah, me like too. this is nice. Pop this in the oven for about five minutes on the top rack. Pull it off, and then we are going to add the green beans to this side with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then I'm going to let them cook. And right before they're done, I'm going to take them out and then toss them with a little bit more of this mixture that we have left over because I think that will be delish. 
If you want to try HelloFresh, then use my code JESSICA080 to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. Okay, so now it's time to make this couscous and I just added about one tablespoon of butter to our pot. We have got to get a smaller pot. This thing is so big. And then once this butter melts, we are just gonna toast the couscous for about two to three minutes. We're gonna add in some water, some broth, I think some lemon juice, right B? Um, I think so. And then that's it. I'm like shocked at how easy this is. Okay, so now that that's all nice and toasted, I'm gonna add in a three-fourths cup of water. Woo! And this perfectly pre-measured package of chicken stock concentrate. And then we're just gonna stir this together and let it cook for about six to eight minutes and it should be done. <laughs> Messing no. up. And Monkey's like, look at everyone dancing. Okay, we're doing the wrong thing. Okay, once you bring it to a boil, add a lid, turn it to low, and then what be? Uh, cook for six to eight minutes. Okay, so we did not Which add a lid. Which we really didn't. It was just like one minute. Yeah. Okay, so this has been in the oven for about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna toss these green beans and then add this little cheese mixture. Throw it back in there for just a few minutes. That chicken looks so good. Okay, chicken is done, and y'all, it looks and smells so good. So do these green beans. Couscous is done. We just add in one more tablespoon of butter, the lemon zest, and a little bit, of, I can't talk, <laughs> a little bit of lemon juice. And SMP. And salt and pepper. And I was telling Bunky, this is like so easy and easy cleanup. We didn't dirty up any dishes. This is my kind of meal. There's, oh my gosh, the little seeds just went in there, boo. Bunky! I see them. The, oh my gosh, I want another one. Hold I on. I got it. You got it. Well, nope. I got one of them. Okay, there's another one. You see it? Yeah. Yep. As I burn my finger. And here it is, plated up, and it looks incredible. I cannot wait to dig in. Okay, seriously, HelloFresh never disappoints. This is absolutely delicious. I just looked at Bunky and I was like, this is some of my favorite chicken we have ever had, and I cannot wait to have it again. So delicious, and y'all, I love couscous. I am so excited to try and make this on my own again. It is delicious, kind of like pasta, kind of like rice, amazing. That is exactly what I was gonna say, <laughs> Bunky. I didn't know how to describe it. Isn't that right, though? Yeah, it's got, it's like a little bit, it's got a little chew to it, but it's like. So good. So soft. The lemon on it? Yep, that, that lemon took it over the top. Okay, y'all, so tonight for dinner, Bucky and I are having a chicken cheesy rice in our Instant Pot. This is actually a redo because we tried to make it one other time. It was our very first time ever using our Instant Pot to make dinner, and y'all, we burned it. We burned it so bad, but the top layer was not burned at all, and it was so good and I was so mad at myself for like not finishing filming it because we filmed a lot of it and then once we burned it we were like yeah we're gonna have to scratch this and I should have finished it because y'all it was delicious we ate leftovers the next day this would be such a great freezer meal you could totally make this ahead put it in the freezer bring it out whenever you have a night where you have lots to do and don't have time to cook it would be amazing for that. It is so yummy. And after I got the Instant Pot, so many of you told me that I needed to go watch Six Sisters Stuff. That is so hard to say. And y'all told me they have the best Instant Pot recipes. So that is where I found this one. It is so simple. As long as you don't burn it, we are definitely still learning how to use this Instant Pot. Um, but we're gonna try it again tonight and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So I have out all of the ingredients and I'm gonna give you the rundown, the gist of this recipe. I'm gonna take these tenderloins and then just slice them into bite-sized pieces and we're going to saute them in the Instant Pot with a little bit of avocado oil. Now, they do put an onion in, in this recipe. Y'all know I'm not doing that. So to make up for flavor, we're gonna add in lots of garlic. They do use garlic, but like one clove and we're gonna use like three cloves. And then we're also gonna use some Italian seasoning and this roasted garlic and herb seasoning as well as some salt and pepper. Saute all of that together. Then we're gonna add in a can of cream of chicken soup, one cup of rice, 
By the way, we are having their recipe because it's just me and Bunky. You say having, having. Having with a V. Having, whatever that word is. We're having fun. And then we don't have any, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. We, we don't have any um, chicken stock, so we're gonna use this better than bouillon and make our own chicken stock. And then you're gonna throw in one bag of frozen veggies. So that is our rundown. We're gonna go ahead and get this chicken cut up and get it sauteing. We probably need those. That was from my Amazon haul. Oh. We actually probably need this. All right, what does it say? Off. I'll do this right. Okay. <laughs> Our problem last time is we are starting on saute and then we're going to pressure cook, but it just kept saying preheating. Mm -hmm. And we don't quite understand. Although Bunky has done lots of research. Oh, now the pressure is on me. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a press saute. That was, that was a bunky joke. That was like a you joke that I came up I, with. I, I'm a press saute. Okay. Now that is on high. Is that what you want it on? I think I'm, we're going to go to low this time. Yes, because it got you, very hot. I know, but I kind of want that like. I do like the fact that it browned the chicken. Put it on yeah. high. Okay. Start. This part we're good. I think I have an idea. Okay, tell me. Let's let this, I don't know if we did this the first time, but let's let it sit here uh -huh. until it doesn't say preheating anymore. Okay. Okay, sure. If we're to say preheat, it now says hot. We are ready to roll. I'm gonna add in a little bit of oil to coat the bottom. Oh yeah, it's hot. That oil immediately it's got hot. It's shimmering. You want a little bit more oil? Yeah, I can really couldn't see if I was doing. I think you need just a touch more. Okay. There we go. Now let's throw this chicken in. Oh, we gotta get a spoon to stir it with. And baby, I'm gonna have you throw it in because it, it makes me nervous about the splatter of the oil. Okay. Here we go. I'm Ra scared. Round two okay. of. What can we use to deglaze this pan, real quick? Some uh, lemon juice or vinegar or something. Wait, what do you got in there? Anything acid-based oil. Huh. What's that? Italian seasoning. Oh. I kind of like the lot. No, I, no baby, doing? baby, I added a lot last time. <laughs> but that's what? Okay, I've, that's all, no more. I've, mm -mm. <laughs> that is a ton. Babe, I added more than that last time and you loved it. You just didn't see me put it in. Okay, I could tell it was in there though. What? What, now what did you do over here? I just put it on low. Oh, you just turned the heat down. Okay, salt and pepper me. Okay, so to make our chicken stock, Bunky just like boiled one cup of water and then he's just gonna put in like one heaping. One, yeah, one teaspoon makes the broth, I guess. Now that our chicken is pretty much cooked, we're gonna go ahead and start adding in all of our wet ingredients. What you got, B? So we got our one cup of chicken broth, one cup of, a quarter cup of just regular water. <laughs> regular water. Uh huh. Um, you gotta throw that rice in there. Let me throw this rice in. And you want all of the rice covered in liquid so that it does not get hard. Mm -hmm. And then we're only supposed to use half of this, but we used a little bit extra the other day and I think it turned out real good. Yeah. So That's we're going to put soup. like most all of this in here and then stir that up, boo. Okay, so we're gonna add in our frozen veggies and they do recommend having them frozen. That way they just kind of cook with everything and you can add in whatever you want. We just thought this sounded good because it has like zucchini, red bell peppers, um, broccoli, cauliflower, all kinds of things in there. So we're gonna add that in and then we will start the pressure cook process and pray we don't burn this. I'm 
I'm letting you do this part. Oh, me? <laughs> you don't want to be responsible? No. Okay, so we're going lid down. Okay. We're going to cancel. Right. Okay, so that's done. And then pressure cook. Pressure cook. Custom I'm trying right. to keep warm off already. Okay. Custom. Six minutes. Six minutes. That's all this takes, y'all. Start. And it's in the seal position. Okay, leave it alone, walk away. But see, it's still preheating. So I guess it preheats, then it'll cook for six minutes. Nah. If y'all have an Instant Pot, help us out. It says burn food again. So please, if you have an Instant Pot, tell us what we are doing wrong. I say we just take the lid off and start. I say we just throw it in the trash. The Look, whole thing. No. I'm kidding. Okay, take it off. But there's like pressure in there. Okay, release the pressure. There's not that much pressure, obviously. I mean, it's been like six minutes. It has. It's been preheating. And last time it said the same thing, it ended up I'm fine. I'm just afraid to take this lid off. Me too. It's kind of nerve wracking. But usually when you do the vent thing, like it's like. You know? I know. Why don't we have any pressure? Well, it would have just blown my hand off. And look, there's so much water in there. Uh, I don't, I don't know. But it's all stuck to the bottom. Well, it's not. It's just like it gets like one layer, and then it's okay. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody help us! Somebody help! The good news is that this still tastes good. Yeah. It's <laughs> just so crazy. So we stirred it, put the lid back on. We are getting a little bit more steam out, like y'all can see it, but there seems to be some pressure in there, but it still says preheating. So I don't know if we got a bad one or what, but it should not take this long to preheat. Okay, so we salvaged our mill. I don't know how in the world to use this or if we just have a bad one, but anyway, the top part of it that's not burnt still is delicious, and so now you're just gonna sprinkle in all of your shredded cheddar cheese. And I'm thinking you can probably do this like in a crock pot as well. I think there's different ways to do it, but regardless, it tastes delicious. It's like a really good comfort meal, and I will link their original recipe down below for y'all. And there you have it, cheesy chicken rice is what's for dinner. Even if it was almost a fail for the second time. <laughs> It still tastes good. It's just okay, y'all, so tonight Bunky and I are going like total Joanna <laughs> Chip Gaines. So we are making a recipe out of Joanna's Volume 2 cookbook. It is called Honey Garlic Chicken. And y'all know we love some garlic in this house and we also love some chicken. So I know this is going to be delicious. I kind of have everything set out. I went ahead and preheated the oven to 400 degrees. It calls for chicken thighs. So I have them on one side of my cheat pan and I did pat them dry. So I'm going to go ahead and add some olive oil to them with a little bit of salt and pepper and we're going to start roasting these first. What? Hey, that is some good sprinkling Thank skills. Thank you. Wow. You know who I learned this from? Me? No. Uh, Rachel Ray. Jeffrey Zakarian. The, the high up method. Yes, that's what he always does. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 15 minutes and we're gonna get started on our sauce. Oh, and you want your rack to be about six inches from the top so it gets like a nice little char and we are gonna broil it in just a few minutes. I will of course leave this recipe down below for y'all in the description box, but for this sauce, you're going to need half a cup of apple cider vinegar, half a cup of honey, one cup of ketchup, four tablespoons of unsalted melted butter, two teaspoons of garlic salt. We did not have garlic salt, so I just added in more garlic cloves. You're also going to need two garlic cloves, or in our case, four, and that's it. Stir it together, and that's what goes on the chicken. Okay, so I've got the sauce made and the chicken only has a few more minutes before we pull it out. And we are going to cut up this bell pepper into strips and then it calls for fresh pineapple. I went um, the easy way and just got a can of these pineapple chunks. And we're basically gonna put these on a sheet pan, toss it in this sauce and then let it cook for a little bit longer. And then we're gonna broil everything so it's kind of charred. Gonna be ooey gooey with that honey, sweet, 
ketchupy. Sweet, sticky goodness. Oh, yes, honey, I like that bunk. Okay, Bunky's gonna cut his bell pepper, and also I was gonna tell y'all, it um, calls for rice. We've had a lot of rice <laughs> this week. Yeah. So I'm just gonna throw some of these little baby Dutch yellow potatoes on there and just roast that with everything. This is like a one pan dinner, but which I'm loving. Minimal cleanup. and do my potatoes while you're at it. Okay. How do you want those? Quartered, halved? Quartered, no. Yeah, halved and then halved and then halved. Whatever that is. So let me rest them all. Half and then half on each side and then, no, 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 no. Long ways. Like a wedge. And then half that. Oh my gosh, that's like so fine. <laughs> I know, I like them very thin. Hey, that's gonna take like an hour to do. Okay, let me help you. I'm losing potatoes over here. Throwing the potatoes around. Okay, there's the chicken. We got her. You get the chicken. What? All of this down? Yes, yeah, so all that goes there. Okay, I'm gonna put your potatoes near the. You can kind of mix them around if you want, so they all have like mix, all the flavor. Mix everybody around a little bit. Yeah. We lost one. Losing taters. But what about the pineapple with the? Yeah. No, no. Okay, I'll, we'll put I'll, some pineapple there. Keep... Okay, so I'm gonna stick this back in the oven for about 10 minutes, and then we are not going to remove this pan, but we're going to set the oven to broil for eight minutes and let all of this get nice and charred. Y'all, I'm crazy. I just told Bunky, pull that pan out. I didn't even toss my potatoes in anything, not even some salt and pepper. I was like, those things are gonna be so bland. So I just pulled them out. I'm gonna toss them with a little olive oil, maybe some garlic powder, salt and pepper, just give them a little bit of seasoning and then we'll throw it back in. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and set it to broil. We're not gonna get it out. And then I'm gonna set my timer for eight more minutes and it'll be almost done. Oop. you could be a little bit more like chip and yeah. build me some stuff i've been trying to convince monkey to build me a um like entryway table mm -hmm. and he swears he can do it but I i'm going to we all know how long it took you to do the baby steps bunk the hutch funky yeah but look how pretty that thing is yep. i can do the same thing five years later i did not want to paint such a beautiful piece of furniture but it turned out looking good anyway. It did. Okay, so this is me telling y'all to hold Bunky to building my entryway table. Okay, I'm just gonna have to buy a circular saw because <laughs> I don't have one of those. You ready to get it? It's time. Oh my gosh. Damn, this chicken's dancing. Mm. Woo! That looks so good. It says in her recipe to like let it broil until you have lots of charred pieces. So it's supposed to look like that and it looks incredible. That's how I like it. Me too. Oh my gosh, and it made the potatoes nice and crispy. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so now it says to toss all of this minus my potatoes in the rest of the sauce, but we're just gonna kind of brush the sauce on the rest of it so we don't have to dirty up another bowl. So I went ahead and got my potatoes off so that we could like really lay on the sauce. So we're just gonna literally kind of like pour it all over everything and then we'll top it with some parsley. We're just gonna- Just pour it, baby. No, I'm gonna just dab it. Okay. Even over here on my veggies? That's what it says. Just a little bit over here. I think it will be good on the pineapple though. Mm -hmm. You know what I just thought of? What? You know like, um, I guess it's like Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> 
They have like firecracker chicken or something, uh -huh. and it has red pep bell peppers and pineapple chunks in it and That's onion. Kind of similar. It's kind of like this, I, I think. I bet you. I mean, it, it, like with the this. sauciness. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit more sauce on there. I think that's good. Okay. Okay, it looks good. I'm excited to try it. Okay, friends, so that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you for hanging out with us in the kitchen. I hope you had a great time and got some recipe ideas for your family. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which one you are most excited to make. Y'all give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.